Hi, my name's Gemma. I'm one of the mental health trainers for the Charlie Waller Trust. Just wanted to share some tips around uh, Mental Health Awareness Week and the importance of movement. Uh, for me, it's definitely been uh, a challenge to kind of weave into my working week uh, exercise and movement. Uh, it's something that's taken a lot of uh, planning uh, and setting aside that time. For me, what's been really helpful is both uh, body balance. I've just got back from uh, my weekly body balance class, which allows me to use both movement, but also uh, pausing, stopping uh, and being present in the moment. So some mindfulness um, into my week. Uh, so that's been really conducive uh, for my overall well-being. And another thing that I now do uh, to look after my well-being is uh, to swim. So about two years ago, I recommenced swimming after a 30-year break uh, and now set aside time, uh, usually uh, twice a week. I'm heading swimming this evening um, and I spend an hour uh, swimming, approximately about a mile Again, what I've noticed is that my physical health has improved through movement. And the other thing that I've also been aware of is that both body balance and swimming has been really, for me personally, quite grounding as well. Um, so what I would say is, you know, if you're thinking about introducing uh, some movement into your day or your week, just allow yourself some time to really think about what will work for you. So for me, joining the gym just wasn't something that I'd want to do. I tried it several times uh, and kind of found myself not enjoying it. So finding something that you can use um, yourselves and just recognising the importance of uh, looking after your body along with your mind. Um, our body sometimes tells us when things aren't okay. And I found uh, just kind of spending uh, at least two, three hours a week doing exercise and moving in the way that I really enjoy uh, has been really helpful. So that's just a little bit about me and uh, the value uh, and importance of movement.